Montgomery County, Virginia. From its green rolling farmlands to the scenic New River to its majestic mountains, Montgomery County is home to 94,393 residents and its 393 square miles. Located within a day's drive to two-thirds of the country's population and close to Interstates 81, 77, and 64, its roots go back to its importance as a stop on the Wilderness Road in the 1700s. Its origin traces to 1776 and an American hero of the French and Indian War and the American Revolution. Richard Montgomery was a major general in the Continental Army who died in the attempt to capture Quebec from the British. The county's retail hub, the town of Christiansburg, was incorporated in 1792 and named in honor of Colonel William Christian. Blacksburg, the second largest town in Virginia, originated on 38 acres of land donated in 1798 by William Black, thus its name. Montgomery County was created from Fincastle County. It originally had 12,000 square miles, which later gave birth to or added to many other counties. Today, the county government is comprised of an elected member from each of the seven districts. With a budget of $171.4 million, the county provides public education, public safety, fire and rescue, courts, social services, and more. Montgomery County has evolved from a place where the economy relied on livestock and crops to a thriving high-tech community. With many scientific and research businesses and institutes, it is also home to Virginia Tech, one of the nation's leading educational and research facilities. My name is Bill Brown, and I represent District E on the Board of Supervisors. I'm a longtime resident of Montgomery County, and this is where my wife and I raised four children, and I served as the Town of Blacksburg's Police Chief until I retired after 35 years of service. I like to tell visitors this is a great place to live and raise a family. Public safety is a high priority and our Sheriff's Office is busy keeping our community safe. Sheriff's deputies and 911 dispatchers received 32,559 calls for service over the past year. This resulted in 1,000 224 arrests. Of these arrests, 123 were for driving under the influence. Deputies are also making a difference through school and community events, such as participating in the Feeding America Food Collection. Our fire volunteers responded to 2,104 calls and rescue answered the call 8,000 366 times. Our volunteers deserved our utmost appreciation. Emergency Services Coordinator Neil Turner received the first Stan Krieger Humanitarian Award at the State Emergency Managers meeting held this past spring. One of the best parts of my job is welcoming new and expanding businesses that bring high paying, good jobs, and millions of dollars of investment to our community. In the past year alone, at Fallen Branch Corporate Park, Earl Pro opened its new corporate offices. In addition, Polymire Solutions broke ground to expand and build its headquarters. Don't you know it, I hit a rock. <laughs> <laughs> and at the Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, there are 100 employees at Rackspace's new $9 million building. Your Board of Supervisors is working hard to be a good steward of your resources. My name is Chris Tuck and I represent District B and I'm an attorney in private practice here in Montgomery County. Our financial and purchasing departments continue to receive reaccreditation and accolades for their professional practices. We're selling off unused properties such as the former Texas Hollow Road Park site and the Plum Creek former Greenbox site. We also want to protect our beautiful county from the damage that heavy rains and soil erosion can do to our streams, creeks, and rivers. The newly created Engineering and Regulatory Compliance Department will be working with developers and residents to make sure the county is compliant with state regulations. Scouts, civic groups, and other volunteers picked up more than five tons of trash along 48 miles of roadways for the annual Broomin' and Bloomin' event in April. And Edgar boxes at the three consolidated sites are also keeping gently used household items out of the landfill. Over the past year, residents donated 38 tons of clothes, housewares, and more to help Goodwill create job opportunities. 
Hi, I'm Mary Biggs and I represent District F. As a lifelong educator, I'm proud to say that the county is making major investments in public education. The beautiful New Auburn and Blacksburg High School opened this past fall to much fanfare. These schools and the soon to be opened New Auburn Middle School, which is currently undergoing renovation, are helping to ensure our students receive a first class education. Montgomery County is committed to school security as new technology is installed to keep both students and teachers safe. I'm also happy to report that the county worked with the towns and state officials to relocate the popular Christiansburg Park and Ride lot to a better location off Interstate 81. In addition, our county libraries offer opportunities for young and old alike to use computers and read the latest publications and books. From large print formats to paperbacks to the latest bestsellers, more than 700,000 items were checked out over the past year. And it's not all just about books. The Blacksburg Library won a Library Director's Award for hosting restaurants at its first ever Chili Crawl. The Christiansburg Library won the Best Adult Program Award from the Virginia Public Library Directors Association for its Artist in Residence series. The newest addition to the Christiansburg Library, the Story Walk, which was unveiled in April, encourages reading and exercise at the same time. Hi folks, my name is Gary Creed, and I represent the folks of Eastern Montgomery County, which includes Christiansburg. To help the public school with their capital needs, the county is surplusing school properties that are no longer needed. The former Elliston Lafette School was sold to Shaw Development, LLC. Working with the county officials, the site has been rezoned for multifamily residential development given citizens another option for a place to live as their community grows. In Price's Fork, the county is working with the Taylor Holler community to buy and renovate the former Price's Fork Elementary School for affordable senior housing. Other community uses might include a cafe, farmer's market, and small retail stores. In Blacksburg, county and town officials held a joint meeting to discuss the future of the old middle school property. Hello, I'm Todd King. I'm the newest member of the Board of Supervisors. I represent District D, and our community has many farms, mountains, and places to enjoy nature. If you are looking for something to do, the County Parks and Rec Department can take you rafting or kayaking on the New River. You can go for a gentle stroll with a friend on a trail, play a friendly game of bingo, discover that item you've always wanted on a shopping trip and more. For the adventures, there are hikes, rowdy bike races, and rope courses. For kids, there are summer camps, sport teams, and other exciting ventures. Parks and Rec offers the only outdoor pool in the area, the Frog Pond Swimming Pool. In fact, it had more than 22,000 visitors last season. At Motor Mile and Plum Creek Parks, things are bigger and better than ever. With new dugouts, new playgrounds and shelters, more than 1,000 kids participate in Parks and Rec athletic programs this year. Thanks to Sheila Motor Mile, Lowe's, Chrisburg Walmart, 17K Diamond for All, and Jeldwin for helping out with sports equipment, upgrades to facilities, landscape, and the Ripken Baseball Clinic. In addition, thanks to all of you who donate to Let the Kids Play Scholarship Fund, that makes it possible for all kids to participate in athletic programs. So next time your kids say they can't find anything to do, please check out the Parks and Rec. My name is Annette Perkins and I represent District A. If you are 55 or older, RSVP invites you to use your life experience and skills to help your neighbors in need. They can match volunteers' interests and skills with organizations that need assistance. Do you enjoy crafts, animals, cooking, knitting, or just looking for something to help out with in your free time? Then RSVP has a job that's perfect for you. This year, 
RSVP received a Best Practices Award from the Commonwealth Council on Aging. The award of $3,000 was given to the Supplies for Seniors program, which donated household and personal care items to 250 homebound residents. And who doesn't love fun, food, and fashion? Our volunteers model fashions from area thrift shops and clothing banks for a good cause at this annual event. Hi, my name is Matt Gabriel. I'm an associate professor at Virginia Tech and I represent District G. Civic engagement and government transparency are important pillars of democracy. To make voting easier and more convenient for Virginia Tech students, two new voting precincts will be available this fall for on-campus residents. At the courthouse, jurors may now fill out online questionnaires on the county's website. And if you're getting married, there's a self-serve kiosk available just for marriage licenses. Modernizing technology and more online services are even being recognized at the national level. The county ranks in the top 10 in the National Digital County Survey. Your Board of Supervisors is also holding county conversations in the community to give citizens a chance to talk with us, to ask questions, and to share their concerns. The Montgomery Christiansburg Cable TV channels and YouTube channel are another way we're reaching out to citizens. Our last annual report on YouTube was named Best in Class by National County Information Officers. The county's investment in tourism is also paying dividends. Radford University students are designing campaigns to market agriculture tourism and help local farmers. The Crooked Road Festival celebrates the artistic and musical heritage of Appalachia through performances, art, instrument making demonstrations, and clogging workshops. Stay tuned as we hear more about next year's festival plans and how tourism brings in needed tax revenues and benefits our community. Hi, I'm Craig Meadows, County Administrator for Montgomery County. Montgomery County is a wonderful place to find gainful employment and to raise a family. Also, to enjoy natural beauty and serenity, and pursue meaningful volunteer activities. The Board of Supervisors is making significant investments in public education and public safety. The new public safety building will provide a safe, secure, and modern facility for the Sheriff's Office and the Regional 911 Dispatch Center. The county is also working with school leaders to create a community of excellence and prepare students to lead productive lives and make positive contributions to society. In addition, the county recognizes the need to replace our nearly 40-year-old animal shelter and build a facility that encourages more residents to adopt dogs and cats. I'm confident our county leaders will continue to provide strong direction for our citizens and good stewardship for our resources. Thank you for your continued support as we strive every day to provide quality services to our citizens and we look ahead to a successful future.